Welcome to Rebel Repair. Today we sent this six liter Chevy up in the mill, cut some O-ring grooves in it uh, in preparation for some boost. I'm gonna show you what the finished product looks like, then we'll show you the setup and how we did it. All right, we got this block up on the table here, uh, holding it with a couple of bars in the mains, sitting on this deck. We're gonna tilt the head and feed in that way. We've got the grooves. Uh, this is the tool we got for doing this. This is something that I made up. Uh, three quarter inch key stock, holds uh, one mil. Uh, top notch insert and to figure out to figure out uh, how to set this tool basically you measure from this to the outside of your insert uh, being that we're going to be centered on the center of this tool you need the radius of this diameter plus the radius to the OD of your o-ring groove so this is a four inch bore so a two inch radius and I want a hundred thou wall between the inside of my groove and the cylinder wall plus the one mil which is 39 thou and then you add that on to half of this diameter so this is, the, this is how it works the diameter of this is 2.73 Divided by two gives you that. And then you got your four inch bore. Sorry, that's the wrong one. Four inch bore divided by two, plus my 100 thou wall, plus my one mil, gives you that. You add the two together, 3.504, which is the measurement from here to the outside of this insert. Uh, so now we basically just gotta get the the block dialed in and then uh, I got shims here to make sure that it's gonna be sitting flat I just shim it however I need it and tap it around till it's straight Zeroed at the top. See, we're on zero. So now that we got the block sitting straight up and down, because as you pry up on here, as you pry up on the back, it always moves it uh, side to side on your X. So now. I brought it in close this way, dial it in perfect this way, and then we'll go back and we'll dial the deck in straight.
about going here walks all squared up both ways and uh, now we got to indicate the bore spindle lowest speed possible indicator on the spindle and then look through the back and watch the indicator till it gets close and then uh, and then I'll slow it down to get it uh, to get it right on all right so we got dialed into the first bore here cut the groove and everything came out to the the way it was supposed to uh, we hit bang on our hundred thou wall uh, so the the minor diameter of the groove uh, measures 4.2 because it's four inch bore plus a hundred thou wall on each side and uh, so now that now that, that went good uh, just gonna set up do a time lapse of me doing the rest maybe get a close-up of the next one when we cut it You could, uh, if I had a digital readout on this mill, uh, you could just move over the bore spacing, uh, which is 4.4. Uh, so I don't have a digital readout, my collar slipped. So I'm gonna move over that much approximately and then uh, run the dial in the bore again. So I'll have to dial every bore separately and it'll be a little bit slower, but uh, yeah, that's how we got to do it. <laughs> 